I never chose to go in the military. It was my calling. I just knew that that's what I wanted to do. My mindset and the mindset of my teammates in the SEAL teams was, we want to go where the combat is. The war in Afghanistan is ramping up. U.S. commanders expect a long, hard fight. In the summer of 2009, Lieutenant Commander Dan Kanasin was exactly where he wanted to be, in combat in Afghanistan. The truth of combat is you never know what you're actually going to get into. In the early hours of September 8th, while acting as a platoon commander for SEAL Team 1, Kanasin stepped on an IED while on a mission in the mountains of Kandahar. I remember a flash coming up. And the next thing I knew, I'm coming too. And I'm disoriented, but my teammates pretty quickly were on. None of them had been injured. It was really steep to get down. So they went to the last resort, which is just to drag me over the earth. This is the most pain I've ever been in in my life. After I'd been loaded onto the helicopter by my teammates who saved my life, it was lights out for me. I think at that point I let myself go. And I wake up about 10 days later in a hospital room and I'm wondering, how did I get here and what happened? I remember asking a medical professional whether my legs are gone and that person replied, yes. Lieutenant Commander Kanasin was awarded both a Purple Heart and a Bronze Star with Valor for his service. I, I had come to terms with the risk of dying. I was willing to accept these risks to do the job I was doing. But I never for a second thought that I would be severely injured for the rest of my life. But over time, day after day after day, I'm learning this, this is my new reality. I'm gonna have to figure out where to go from here. Otherwise, I don't know what my life is gonna look like. So I need to set goals. And I think that is what got me through this, setting goals. While rehabbing at Walter Reed Medical Center, Kanasen connected with a U.S. Paralympic Nordic skiing coach, an encounter that gave him a renewed sense of purpose. I was drawn to this sport after my injury, and I don't think that's just some coincidence. Cross-country skiing has a healing element. When I get on the snow, it's, it's a sense of freedom. This is maybe a uh, transfer from the military where I was part of a team, we trained together, we trained hard, and I just got into this rhythm of training, training, training. And then you go overseas on a deployment and you put your training to the test. That lifestyle still appeals to me. It's a continuation of that, of wearing a uniform. It's a continuation of service. I mean, I'll be frank, I would rather be wearing the military uniform, but I'm very proud to represent the U.S. as a cross-country skier and biathlete.